Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Hard Count. We got a banger for you guys today. We're going to talk about the Miami Dolphins. Let's go! This year, the Dolphins have a real shot at the Lombardi Trophy. Now, let's break down this team and get into the video. Because we're going to give you money. No, no, no. The best YouTube channel of your entire life. We also have vlogs, any special content we're going to give you, and you follow our lives around weekly. What's good, everybody? I hope you're ready. We are going to break down this roster by assigning each of these positions a point value. After we give the Dolphins a THC power score, we're going to head into the season and see what games they win, what games they lose, because it is a tough division, ladies and gentlemen, and I am excited to see how this thing shakes out. I'll explain how we do this THC power score right now. Before we get into this, let me break down how we take these teams apart and assign these points to each position. When breaking down these NFL teams, we go from coach all the way down to cornerback, and we assign each of these positions a point value. For example, a quarterback is going to be worth a lot more than a running back in today's modern NFL. Let's run by these point values super quick. At the coaching staff, we have assigned 20 points to them. At quarterback, we have also assigned 20 points to them. For the remaining of the offense, we have eight points for wide receivers and O-linemen, five points for tight ends, and four points for running backs. On the other side of the ball, we have assigned the cornerback and nickel group 10 points, the edge defender group 10 points, the interior D lineman 6 points, 5 points to the safeties, and 4 points to the inside linebackers. Howdy y'all, it is time to break down this Miami Dolphins team in 2023. In 2022, they seemed like they had so much potential behind them, but Tua could just not stay healthy, and that was the Achilles heel of their season. And for 2023, the hype is on and the train is moving. Let's go! So let's break down this team by position. For the Miami Dolphins coaching staff, I gave them a whopping, this is ridiculous, a whopping 18 out of 20 points. I truly believe Mike McDaniel is that guy. He is a great coach, and more importantly, he pairs with Tua so well. They work perfectly together. I think Mike McDaniel is an up-and-coming coach that deserves more respect in the NFL. At the quarterback position, man, oh man, Tua Tungo Valoa has all the talent in the world, and he put on an absolute show last year. There were a ton of talks that Tua was not going to be able to get it done with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, and I know it sounds like obviously he's going to get it done, but there were a lot of haters last year, if we're being honest with ourselves. I gave Tua Tungo Valoa a 14 out of 20. I would have had him at a 15, but he is so consistently injury prone that I had to notch him down at least one point for that. It's something he can't control, but at the end of the day, availability is an ability. At wide receiver, this is the money position of this team. Eight out of eight, a perfect score. What, what, what do I say? What do I say? They're so good in the passing game. Tyreek Hill, and when he's double covered, throw to Jalen Waddle. What, what are you going to do? Absolutely nothing. There is so much speed and talent out there at wide receiver. You just, you can't contain them. It's, a, I don't know how you're going to play defense against them. Your safeties, they're screwed. You're going to play man, good luck. The game's over. You cannot do that against this team. Arguably the best wide receiving core in the entire NFL. At offensive line, I gave this group a four out of eight. Not quite as exciting as I was for the wide receivers. Fine is not going to get it done with Tua. You got to keep this guy on his feet and off his back. If Tua takes shots like he took last year, it is not going to end well. This offensive line needs to step up for this team to really be successful. At tight end, we have Durham Smythe and Eric Sauber. What, 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 are we, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? I understand you have so much talent at wide receiver, but we got to address this somehow. Just a, just a little bit. At the running back position, I gave this group a 2 out of 4. That might be a little bit light. They got a pretty decent running back room going. Jeff Wilson Sr., Raheem Moster, and of course, Devon A-Chain. I think A-Chain's going to be a good player, but I don't think he's going to be otherworldly like some people are saying. Now we're going to the defensive side of the ball. At the cornerback and nickel position, I gave this group an 8 out of 10. They are nasty this year. This is a very good squad. Trading for Jalen Ramsey. Trading for Jalen Ramsey. Trading for Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I see what she did. That is good. Wow. That Carol is one smart cookie. Come on, my lover. Come on, my friend. This is a very solid squad that is going to be locking down some wide receiver cores this year. At edge, I gave this group a 6 out of 10, maybe a little bit light. 
I might bump this, to be honest. But they got they got the stud, Bradley Chubb. They traded for him last year. This rushing core is not that bad. They're pretty dang good. They're just missing that X-Factor player to get them over this six edge. At interior defensive line, I gave this group a four out of six. Christian Wilkins has been a very solid player, along with Raekwon Davis. They've been holding down the front there for this team. At safety, we have Brandon Jones and Javon Holland. Some solid players there. Nothing crazy. I gave them a three out of five. I like their squad a lot. At interior linebacker, I gave this squad a 2 out of 4. This linebacking core is a solid group. I just think they're lacking a little bit of depth here, to be honest with you. All in all, we add all these points together and get our final THC score, which is a score for the Dolphins of 70 out of 100. This is a very, very good score. By my ranking standards, I have them ranked as a dark horse contender for the Super Bowl. This team defines the modern NFL. They got a solid QB, crazy weapons at wide receiver, and then crazy weapons in the secondary. The Miami Dolphins at the end of the day are built like a dream seven on seven team. Now we're gonna take this THC score and head into the season and see how they do this season. Predict their record, break it down. Do they make the playoffs? How far do they go in the playoffs with these tough AFC matchups? Let's get it going. The Dolphins kick the season off on the road against the Chargers, and I think they get a W here and take one home. The following game, they go on the road again to the Patriots' house, and I think they get a dub here. Mac Jones and them boys are not doing too well. Next week, they finally play at home against the Broncos, and they're going to win there as well. At 3-0 on the season, the Dolphins head to the Bills' house, Bills' mafia. They're not going to take a win home there. They're going to be 3-1 moving forward. The following game, they play the Giants at home, and I think the Dolphins here pull another win out. Next game, they are at home again against the Panthers, a rookie QB and Bryce Young. Give me a win for the Dolphins. The following game, they go on the road all the way to Philadelphia where they will meet the Eagles, and it's not going to go too well. I'm chalking an L up here for the Dolphins. They will return home the next week and play the Patriots, which is basically a bye week this year. That's a win for the Dolphins. After getting their makeshift bye week, the Dolphins head to Arrowhead. Not going to go too well. That's going to be an L. With a bounce back in mind, the Dolphins will head home, play the Raiders in their house, and they're going to collect a dub there. Now this next week, this is a pivotal game in their season in my opinion. They go to the Jets' house. If they win that, they're probably winning the division. If they lose that, it's still up for grabs. I think they're not going to pull us out in the Jets' house. Give me an L for that game. The following game, they go on the road and play the Commanders. I think they're going to pull this one out. Give me a road win there for the Dolphins. The next game, they go home and play the Titans, who are not going to be that great this year. Give me a W for the Dolphins. Now, we got four games left on this season. The division is up for grabs. It's pretty much between the Jets, the Dolphins, and the Bills because we, 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 we know the Patriots are out. So here, here we go. This is big-time games right here. The Dolphins at home against the Jets. The Dolphins win this one. And they're not going to knock the Jets out here, but it's going to put them in a bad spot for the rest of the season. The Dolphins are pretty much neck and neck with the Bills going for the division. Now three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back home games on the season. The Cowboys come to town, and the Dolphins are going to win that game. The Dolphins are now looking good for the division title. The following week, they will go on the road and play the Ravens on New Year's Eve. It is going to be cold up there in Baltimore. They will lose that game and make this division neck and neck. The final game of the season, the Buffalo Bills will head to the Dolphins' house. It'll be Miami. It'll be nice, beautiful weather. It is going to be a true brawl to the end for the division. Who takes this game home for the division? I think it will not. Hold up. Wait a minute. Sorry. Not be the Miami Dolphins. The Bills have an edge on them. All across the board this team is very good don't get me wrong but the bills are a considerable step better than this team i don't think they're going to win this division the biggest difference between the bills and the dolphins is pure depth and a couple playmakers and that goes a long way when it is january 7th people are hurt the dolphins will not have the depth to overcome these injuries late in the season so there you have it i have the dolphins not quite winning the division but a very solid playoff record and they're going to get into the playoffs and play decent team they're gonna avoid the one seed which is what they desperately needed there are three teams in the afc this year that i think the dolphins will definitely lose to if they meet them in the playoffs and i'm gonna rattle them off right now the chiefs don't go near them they bite <laughs> they will beat you they just caught a nail from this team this team is championship or bust and they got tons of depth steer clear of the bills and finally i love the ravens this year i love their roster their coach i think they're heading the right direction and they're going to make a real playoff push it is a very tough conference you can beat anybody else in my opinion even the Bengals, in my opinion the dolphins have the talent to go as far as they want to go this year they're going to make the playoffs but from there let's see where the journey takes them thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please comment below 
what team you want to see next because i love making these videos we've now made a lions one a bears one this is our third one we're still a pretty small channel so if you leave a comment telling us what you want to see we're gonna make it we're, we're gonna give the people what they want we appreciate you guys as fans check us out on instagram tiktok and twitter and don't forget about threads the brand new one thank you guys so much for watching we appreciate all your support tell somebody you love them have a great day peace